Hey everyone, in this video, I wanna to talk to you about trading options for small accounts. Now, this is a, a question that I get a lot from members and students at Navigation Trading. And the question is, can I be successful trading a small account? Or should I just wait till I save up more money or, or start trading when I, when I get a larger account? And, and the answer is, you absolutely can be successful trading a small account. We have a lot of members who have smaller accounts, that, that continue to have consistent success, uh, all the way up to members who have seven-figure million-dollar accounts who are having success. So you can absolutely be successful with a small account. Now, can larger accounts take advantage of more opportunities? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so smaller accounts, traders with smaller accounts just have to be more disciplined in their trading. So if you're, the other thing is, if you're successful trading a small account, then you'll be extremely successful when your account is larger. And the cool thing is, the, the success that you have trading will, will run over to other things in your life. You'll have a positive effect to, uh, if you're in business or your career, uh, with your relationships, with your friends and your family, they're all gonna grow when you have success trading. And it's kind of funny because now, you know, I, I kind of relate everything in my life to trading and everything in probabilities and, and statistical outcomes. So, you know, with my rental properties, when I'm buying a rental property, I'll try to figure out what the probability of success will be with that specific property. And it's really helped me mentally evaluate different risk versus return things. Uh, you know, when I'm, uh, my kids kind of get mad at me because sometimes they'll ask me a question and I'll respond with, you know, saying that's a very low probability a chance of that happening. You know, they kind of shake their head because they know it's a, a trading analogy that I'm about to share with them. So, but it will truly help you in every other aspect of your life. So when it comes to small accounts, kind of what we, we classify as a small account at Navigation Trading is, is $25,000 or less. And when it comes to trading a small account, and this really goes for any size account, but, but really specifically for small accounts, is that the position size that you take your trades on is, is key. So there's gonna be certain high price stocks and ETFs and futures that may be too big for you to trade and do not trade them because eventually it will come back to bite you. And I know this from personal experience if, so if there's a, a stock or ETF and it's gonna take up too much capital relative to your account size, you have to pass on that trade. Do not take that trade. You may get lucky once or twice or three times, but you're in this for the long run. Do not take those trades because eventually it'll come back to bite you. And if you incur a huge loss in your account, it, it's gonna not only affect what you can do trading going forward, but it's gonna affect your mental uh, vision of trading and, and, and how that affects you going forward. So, so just don't do it. And then secondly, you want to build long-term consistencies. Uh, you have to let the probabilities play out. So let's talk first about uh, position sizing. And I've created this chart that shows you based on your account value, how much you can allocate to each trade. So the maximum a ma the maximum percentage that you can allocate to any one trade is 5%, okay? You've got to internalize that and you've gotta, you've gotta take that serious when you're making your own trades. Now, personally, I stick to the 1% or 2% or sometimes even smaller range in my account. Now, I trade a larger account, so that's easy for me to do. It's not as easy when you have a smaller account, so you have to be way more picky on the trades that you take. So if you've got a if you've got a $5,000 account and you're looking at the 1% range, you can only risk $50. Now that that's a pretty hard thing to find when we're when we're trading uh, the option strategies that we teach at Navigation Trading. So you are going to have to go up a little bit higher allocation uh, when you, when you have that smaller account. Now as your account grows, you can you can grind down the allocation to a lower percentage. And I would say, if at all possible, you wanna to try to stay in that one to 3% range, but absolutely never go over 5%. So 
So if you, if, if you, for example, if you have a trade uh, that that you can get into for, 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 and, and let's say you have a twenty thousand dollar account. Let's say there's a trade that you can get into with one contract for three hundred dollars. Okay, you should go ahead and do just one contract. Stay in that lower percentage of, of your of your account allocation. If you do two contracts, you'll be up to six hundred, and so forth and so on. But really, try to stay as small as possible regardless of your account size, especially starting off until you really understand fully and have traded through many market cycles uh, so that you understand exactly the nuances and everything that can happen within a trade. The goal is to hit singles and doubles and live to trade another day. Every day that the market opens is going to be a new opportunity for trading. Okay, so don't, you can't feel like you're in a hurry and you've got to trade bigger because you want to make money quicker. Everybody wants to make money quicker, but you've got to trade small, uh, especially starting out and especially with a, a, a small account size to make sure that you can grow that account consistently. And that gets us to the next, next point, which is long-term consistency. You know, the probabilities of your trades will play out over time. Okay, but it takes a lot of trade. So, you know, at, at, uh, at Navigation Trading, most of our trades are around a probability of success of, of an average of, let's say, around 70%. It's about 71%. So over time, we're going to be right on about 70% of our trades. However, in the short term, that's not always going to be, that's not always going to be the case. Think about this. If you flip a coin 10 times, Will it always produce five heads and five tails? Of course not. Okay, even though the, the probabilities of a coin flip are 50-50, it's not always gonna happen in that short period of time. So, I, so sometimes traders forget that whole statistic and they, you know, they take 10 trades and seven of them are losers and they, and they stop trading or they think, oh, this strategy doesn't work and they switch to a new strategy and they try to go find something else. But really, they didn't let their probabilities play out. Over, you have to create hundreds, sometimes thousands of trades to let, to let the probabilities play out. The option models and the pricing of options is so accurate over, over extended periods of time and over extended numbers of occurrences but you have to let those probabilities play out. If you can internalize this fact, and, and if you can really make it a practice in your trading, in your mental mind state of trading every single day, then with a small account, you can become consistently profitable. If you'd like to learn more about the different strategies that we use to make consistent returns, come see us at navigationtrading.com. We've got a ton of free resources including the navigation watch list, which is a list of the most profitable symbols to trade for each type of strategy. We've got the volatility indicator, which you've seen on my charts. You can download this directly to your Thinkorswim trading platform. And we've got a free options course called Trading Options for Income, which is a step-by-step -step guide to get you making consistent trades right away. We look forward to seeing you there.